how exciting is it to be part of the, uh, the start of the New England era? Yeah, um, lost for words to be honest with you. Um, it's, uh, it's a massive honour um, and a privilege to, to play for England, so I'm um, extremely chuffed. How close were you to going to the World Cup? Um, I mean, obviously, I spoke to, to Franco um, at the end of last season um, about being in the squad. Um, unfortunately, it was one of those those things that, that happens in football when you get an injury. Um, and, uh, I certainly wouldn't have done myself justice, wouldn't have done the country justice um, if, I'd have, if I'd have gone uh, with the squad, you know. Uh, the operation was needed, um, which I had over summer. Being uh, about to make your England debut must be hugely exciting, and yet is there a, a slight sense of nervousness given the context of the fact that England are coming off the back of a disappointing World Cup and the reaction of the fans may, may be a little mixed? <coughs> um, I mean... I think that the, the squad know that you know the reaction might be a bit mixed, as you say, um, but that's in the past now. The World Cup's in the past, and um, you know I'm sure that everybody's looking forward to this championship that's coming up. You know, uh, we've just got to look forward and, and be positive and, and, and continue to do well. And the fact that you're not part of that, that World Cup failure, mm -hmm. if you like, presumably means it's easier for you to take the positive view. I mean, the way I see it is, you know, I've, I've got a chance to, to do well for England. Um, that's the way I see it, and that's the way I'm going to, I'm going to take it. You know, got to give it, give it me shot, give it now, me all. Fabio has suggested uh, yesterday that he'll probably play the ten players from the World Cup squad, mm -hmm. but that leaves one place probably up front alongside Wayne Rooney in the starting lineup. Um, if, if it was you, and if you did get the chance to play alongside Wayne Rooney, what would your thoughts be on that? As I say, you know, just look to do well. Um, you know. Try and do what I do best, and uh, which is which is hopefully hold the ball up, bring people into play, um, and you know hopefully uh, the guys can 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 play well and we can get that win. Weight of goals has got you into this position. You've already scored in, in, in pre-season uh, friendlies. Are you uh, ready for the step up to international goal now? Yeah, um, I'd like to think so. I mean, obviously, uh, as you say, you know, I had a good season last year, and um, definitely looking to continue continue form me form. Um, and just one last thought for me. Um, is there any worries as, as a Fulham player that your new manager, Mark Hughes, is being installed as one of the favourites or possible contenders for the Aston Villa <laughs> um, Wow. Uh, no, I, I can't see him leaving. Um, <laughs> I, that hasn't even come into my head, to be honest with you, but uh, no. Well, you've worked a, a long time for this man, you've worked mm -hmm. hard, and you've said how much he means to you to be part of the team and the team. It's a speechless about your selection. Is it hard then for you to understand players being selected and then dropping out and outsourcing their retirement? Um, I mean everybody's got their, their their own issues, you know. Uh, you know, some may may have issues, um not nothing to do with football. Um I'm sure that everybody, you know, if everything's perfect they they'd, they'd love to play for their, their country. Um as I say, you know, everybody doesn't know uh, everyone's situation. So uh, you know if those guys think it's the right thing for them and they want to focus on their uh, their club football, then uh, then it's down to them. If you'd been fit and part of that squad out of South Africa, Bobby, do you believe England would have been better than they did? <laughs> um, I mean, as I say, you know, I was an untried, untested uh, player at international, still am. So um, the difference that I could have made, nobody knows. Um, you know, I'm just looking forward to, to the game tomorrow, hopefully getting the game. Um, and doing as well as I can. There are lots of players in clubs who aren't part of the Champions League. You'll be pleased to see your selection. They'll think mm -hmm. it, it gives hope to them in the future. You're not part of the, the elite uh, set of clubs in the Premier League. But there are those who think that to be selected for England, you need to be playing regularly against the very best players in the world mm -hmm. and part of the Champions League qualifying clubs. What's your take on that? Do you understand that? Um, yeah, I mean, I understand. Um, but unfortunately, not, um, not all the, the major teams, as you say, have, have English centre forwards. Um, and and in, that, in that case, you have to look at other places, um, which may just be outside of the top four, top six, um, and I'll come into that category. And just finally, Bobby, as a newcomer, give us your take on what it's like this evening. So from afar, you see players being named in squads and dropping out. You see the manager not knowing that certain players are, are fit when he thinks they're injured. It's a bit of a shambles from afar. What's it like inside? Um, seems extremely professional. Um, and organised. Um, pre season is a, a, a tough time, you know, as they say. I mean, I think I, I had, uh, Fabio saying yesterday that, um, 
you know you pick up knocks and strains um, and in a couple of days they're gone which is the case you know it's, you're pushing your body to the limit you're running you're playing you're doing things um, that you wouldn't normally do um, so picking up tightnesses and and little niggles, um, they're there. So, uh, you know, as I say, I think, I think everybody wants to play for England. Everyone wants to, to do as well as they can. Um, you know, but if if you're not right, if you're not ready, um, there's no point going. Bob, watching the um, tournament this summer as a fan, mm-hmm. what did you make of it, watching England? Um, very tough tournament. Um, I mean, obviously... The, Everybody here is, is, is focusing on England, and there are a lot of other major company, uh, club uh, countries sorry, that, that didn't do well, um, as well as they'd expect, probably. But that's football. There's no easy games in, in international football anymore. You know, the, the small countries, the, the ones that you expect to, to thrash, it doesn't happen anymore. You know? So um, I think everybody's got to, got to remember that. Did, what's your take on why England players seem to pull on the shirt and it just weighs really heavily on them? Um, I don't know. I mean, I haven't played for England in a, in a major tournament. Um, I'll submit tomorrow after I've played, you know. You know <laughs> I might be able to tell you different then. What have the other players said to you about the, the, the camp out there? It's been likened to a boot camp, a five-star jail, all these kind of things. What have they said to you about how bored they were and what they'd like to see changed? I haven't really, haven't really spoke about the World Cup to be honest. Um, you know, for myself, I'm just trying to take all this in um, right now. You know, so in terms of the World Cup, I don't think I've I've heard pretty much anybody mention um, what's happened there. As I say, I think everybody's focused on uh, the next tournament, which is the Europeans, um, and and just focusing on that really.